I've mentioned Excel themes sporadically throughout this course so far. So in this lesson, it's time to delve into themes because themes control the look and feel of our spreadsheets. And how our spreadsheets look is a really important aspect of Excel. When it comes to designing our spreadsheets, particularly if we're going to send them to other people, we want to make sure that our data is consistent, that it's readable, and it's easy to interpret. And some themes and some color schemes are definitely easier on the eye than others. So it's important to make sure that you're picking a color scheme, fonts and styles that are going to assist the viewer and not distract and make things more difficult. Now, the first thing to talk about when it comes to themes is if we go up to the page layout ribbon, this first group here, themes, this is where you're going to find all of your settings. Now, what you'll notice is that when you click the themes drop down, you, you can see your themes gallery. And that themes gallery will be divided into two distinct sections. We have custom themes at the top and then we have office themes. Now in this custom area, this is where you're going to find any custom themes that you design yourself. Because yes, as you might have guessed, you can create your own themes in Excel. Now, if you're wondering why on earth would you want to create your own theme? Well, sometimes companies or organizations require you to use the same colors that match your company's branded colors. For example, maybe your company has a yellow, green and blue logo and they like you to use those colors when you're working in your Excel spreadsheet. So you can build your own custom theme and specify which colors you want to use. Now, we will get onto that a little bit later, but for the time being, let's just take a look at some of the inbuilt office themes. So we have a selection just here, and if we scroll down, we have a lot more. So there are quite a few different themes to choose from. Now, a theme generally contains three different elements, colors, fonts, and effects. So when you select a theme, it's going to have its own color palette, its own fonts that it uses, and its own effects. Now, the default theme in use when you just open up Excel is going to be the Office theme. Now, as I mentioned, Microsoft have recently changed the way that this Office theme works. We have a different color palette and we have different fonts. So depending on if you've downloaded the latest update for Microsoft 365, your color palette for this Office theme might be different to mine. You might be still using the old one. It's not a problem. Just be aware that that is why there might be a difference between what you're seeing on my screen and what you have on yours. So I have the office theme applied, but I could also choose the older office theme. So this might be the one that you're seeing as your default. We have other themes just here. So you can see as I hover over these, we get a live preview and it's changing the colors in use in the spreadsheet. So you could choose any one of these color schemes. So let's go for Wisp and see what that looks like. And if you want to see the actual color palette in use, you can go to the home ribbon. And if you click on the fill background icon, you can see here are the theme colors. Now, if I go back to page layout, notice that we also have a colors drop down just here. So by default, when you select a theme, you're going to get its default palette of colors like we just saw. But if you decide that you don't like those colors, you could just change the colors in use in the theme. So essentially, we'd still be using the Wisp theme. We'd just be using a different color palette. So maybe I want to go for, let's go for this red orange color palette just here. So when you select a theme and change the color palette, it's not going to change any of the fonts or any of the effects, but it will change the colors in use. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, Click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. The same thing here, we could go in and we could change the font. So if I decide that I don't like this font, I could change it to something like Arial. The same thing would apply to the fonts and effects. If you don't like the fonts that are standard as part of the theme that you've selected, you can click the drop down, go in and change the font to something else. And the effects, if you're wondering, just relate to things like the type of shadow or the type of border you have when you start adding in things like shapes into your spreadsheets. 
Now, another really important thing to understand when it comes to themes is that there is a big difference between using theme colors and using standard colors in your worksheet. Let me show you what I mean by that. If we go to the Home tab and let's select this heading row up here, I'm going to go to the Fill Background Color and instead of picking a color from my Theme Colors palette, I'm going to choose a standard color down here. So let's go for this navy color like that. Now, if you choose a color from the standard palette and then you go back and try and change your theme, so if I try and change it back to this office theme, notice that all of the colors in this spreadsheet change depending on which theme I'm currently hovering over, but that heading row doesn't change color. It's always dark blue. So when you choose a standard color, that won't update according to the theme that you've chosen. As soon as you put this back to using a theme color, so let's select it again, and let's choose one of these theme colors. Let's go for this dark red. Because this is now a theme color, when I go back and hover over my different themes, you can see that that heading row is now updating. Okay, so, so just be aware of that big difference between using standard colors and theme colors. Now, I mentioned towards the beginning of this lesson that you can create your own themes in Excel. So what I could do here is maybe I want to have these the same color as my branding. So I'm going to go to more colors and I can either choose something from here or if I have a specific hex code for the color that I want to use, I can type it into here. You'll find that if you do work at an organization that uses branding pretty heavily, your marketing team are going to have a list of all of the colors that are used in the logo and templates and things like that. And they'll also have the hex code values. So you can ask them for those values, copy them in, and you're going to get the exact same color as your logo, for example. Now I'm just going to choose a random color from the palette here. Let's go for a dark green. Let's click on OK and let's change this yellow. And I'm just going to select all of these. Let's change this to, let's go to more colors again. And we're going to do, let's do a light green. Click on OK. So I've made a couple of changes there. Maybe I want to save this as a theme so I can quickly switch to it in other workbooks. All I would need to do is go to the page layout tab, click themes and right at the bottom, I can say save current theme. Now this is going to jump you to a default folder that is templates document themes. Now, don't change this folder. Don't navigate to another folder that you have on your PC because we want to save into this document themes folder. So I'm going to call this, I'm just going to call this my initials and theme and click on save. So once you save a theme, when we go back to the themes drop down, you're going to see that theme underneath custom. So I'm just going to undo and take this all the way back to how it was originally. And now if I wanted to apply my theme, I could simply go to themes. I could choose DA theme and that is applied. And the final point worth noting here is that themes will come into play in every aspect of Excel. So if I was to insert a little chart, the colors in use in the chart are going to be based on the theme that you have in use. If I was to insert anything like a shape into the spreadsheet, the default colors are going to be taken from that default color palette. So themes are a really important thing to get your head around. Make sure you're using one that suits the spreadsheet that you're trying to construct. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.